Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question. Today we're going to look at denormalizing a table. Now, traditionally when you're creating a Power BI model, you want to try to normalize your model as much as possible, which is breaking it up into dimension and fact tables and minimizing how many columns that you have in each table. Denormalizing is essentially the opposite where you're combining all of the tables into one single flat file similar to what you would experience in a Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to be looking at a question here today. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video just because of all the information in the question. Let's go ahead and get started. The question says that you create a data model in Power BI. Report developers and users provide feedback that the data model is too complex. The model contains the following tables. We see sales region, region manager, sales manager, and the manager table. We also have the column names that are inside of that and the data types associated to it. The model has the following relationships. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between sales region and region manager. So as we look at the sales region and region manager, we can see that these two are related through the region ID. So they have a one-to-one -one relationship. The second part says that there are more records in manager than in region manager, but every record in region manager has a corresponding record in manager. And so what that tells us that region manager here, so region manager and the manager have the related column manager ID. So we have a relationship between region manager and manager, and that is going to be a one-to-many relationship. Record in region manager has a corresponding record in manager, and it tells us that there are more records in manager here. So because there are more records in manager, that is telling us that this is going to be the many side of the relationship. The next part says there are more records in sales manager than in sales region, but every record in sales region has a corresponding record in sales manager. And so once again, it tells us that there are more records in sales manager than in sales region. So we go to sales manager and sales region. We can see that they are related by the region ID here. So it says that we need to denormalize the model. So that's the key here that we need to denormalize this model, which means we need to turn it into a flat table, a single table with all of the information. And it says only managers who are associated to a sales region must be included in the reports. So that's another key piece of information here that only managers who are associated to a sales region can be included in the reports. And it says that we need to choose three actions that is going to essentially denormalize this model. So as we look at our actions here, it's important to kind of take this step by step and recognizing what we can combine and what we can't combine. And additionally, also the type of join that is going to be created. And so the first thing that I want to look at here is the relationship between sales region and the region manager. So these are the first two I'm just going to look at. I'm going to start at the top of my table and work my way down. So sales region and region manager. So it says that this is a one to one relationship, meaning that there is one record for region ID in both of these. So we want to combine these tables using what's known as a inner join. So an inner join only brings back matching records, which we know based on this first relationship here that they are going to be linked together through that region ID and it is going to match. So as we look through our answer choices, the actions, it says region manager and manager. We're not looking at that one. Sales manager and sales region. Sales region and sales manager. Sales region and sales manager again. Sales region and region manager. 
And then, so the last two are the two that we're going to be looking at here. So it says merge sales region and region manager by using a right join as a new query named sales region and region manager or merge sales region and region manager using an inner join. Now, a right join means that you're going to take everything from the right table, which in that case would be the region manager table and join anything that matches to it from the sales region. Well, we know that they are all going to be matching here because it tells us that this is a one-to-one -one relationship. So we know that this region ID is going to match in both of the tables. And so using a right join is going to tell us that we need to eliminate this answer choice because we want to match everything up. So our first option here would be using an inner join to merge sales region and the region manager. And as we're talking about this, notice the note here that more than one order of answer choices is correct. So you do not have to put this in a particular order. I just like to start at the top of my information and work my way down. So there could be multiple different orders to this, but at the end of the day, choosing the correct join types is definitely going to be important for getting the correct answer for this question. So my first option here, or my first action is going to be merge the sales region and the region manager table. So then I look at my other answer choices and I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the information that I know is incorrect because they told us in the question, and I'm going to highlight this in blue, every record has a corresponding record. And it also tells us that in this other parameter as well. So in these two relationships, it tells us that every record is going to be available between the two table types that tells us that we're going to be using an inner join. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my action items and eliminate anything that is not an inner join. So then I'm going to look down here. The first action is an inner join. The second one is going to be a left join. We're going to go ahead and eliminate that left join because they tell us that every record has a corresponding record. So that's telling us they're going to match up. So we're going to be using an inner join. So now that we have our first action, we now move on to the next action. So we've now effectively combined, I'm going to draw a little diagram here and I'm going to abbreviate here. We have now combined sales region and region manager. I'm just going to do this to kind of keep track of what I'm doing. So I've combined these first two. So remember that our goal is to create one unified table, one denormalized table that has all of the information in it. So I now have these two tables combined. So now I move on to the next table. So the next one is the sales manager. Well, I know that the sales manager is going to be related to the sales region. So here by the region ID. So notice the region ID here is the same in both of these tables. And it tells us in this third relationship here that there are more records in sales manager than in sales region, but every record in sales region has a corresponding record in sales manager. And so combining these two together is going to create that additional table that has all three values in it. We know that it is linked through the region ID. And so if I do an inner join from sales manager to sales region, we're going to be able to create that table that has three values in it. So as I look at sales region and sales manager, my options for that. So the first one is region manager and manager. We're going to skip that for now. Sales region and sales manager and sales region and sales manager. So these two options here are what we're choosing from. Now remember our goal is to have a single table. So here it says that we are trying to create a single table. So 
as I look at these answer choices, they are similar in nature. The only difference is this second part where it says join as a new query. So if I create a new query, remember a query is a table. So if I create a new query, that's going to create an additional table down here. If I create a table as new, that is not what I want to do. So we want to make sure that we're trying to combine all of the information together here. And so I want to do an inner join between sales region and the sales manager. So sales region, sales manager, that's the green here that's based on the region ID. So an inner join onto the table that I've already joined into is now going to give me the sales manager table inside of the same table here. And that also tells me that I can go ahead and eliminate this option down below, leaving us with our third and final option here. So this is going to be number two. And then our third option here to bring in the manager. So the manager is the last part based on the manager ID, which is a part of the region manager, which is already in my table. And so this is going to be my third and final step here. I'm going to do an inner join to bring the manager into this table. And so that would be the final table that is a resultant. So I would have the sales region, the region manager, the sales manager and the manager all in one table. And I have satisfied all of the requirements for this question. I know that was a lot to take in. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll give some more explanation. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.